ready to sew? Schmidt's Needle Company sent us this wonderful giant needle. I can't resist the opportunity to give you a good look at all the parts of a needle and explain what they do for you. After all, if it weren't for a needle, we couldn't sew. Before this episode is over, you'll know there's a lot more to a needle than meets the eye. First, it has six parts. The shank is the wide end you insert into the sewing machine. Home sewing machine needles have a flat side that helps position the needle into the machine in the right position. Going toward the point, next is the shoulder. It is the tapered section that transitions between the shank and the blade. Sometimes there is a colored stripe painted on the shoulder that is color coded for easy recognition of the needle type. The blade is the section between the shoulder and the eye and it has a groove that runs right into the eye. This groove helps manage the thread. Ideally, the size thread you're using should rest comfortably in the groove to make a good match for your needle size. Next are the three major working parts of the needle, the scarf, the eye, and the point. When the needle is down into the fabric during a stitch, the scarf, this indention above the eye, enables the bobbin hook to grab the thread and make the stitch. The thread passes up and down through the eye during the stitch making process, creating and releasing tension to make each stitch. The shape of the eye is therefore important because it is designed to best accommodate specific threads. Needle eyes come in different shapes. Some are flatter or longer or square, all designed so the thread can run through the machine needle without separating or shredding. For example, an embroidery needle has an enlarged eye that protects fragile embroidery thread and guards against excess friction and a metallic needle's elongated eye prevents shredding of metallic threads. The point or tip of the needle often determines the needle type. Different shaped tips are designed for the fabric it's intended to sew to avoid skipped stitches or damaged fabric. You'll find stretch needles with a unique ball point eye and scarf to avoid skipped stitches on very stretchy knits. Jersey needles for knits, jeans needles for denim or penetrating extra thick woven fabrics, and microtex needles for microfibers, to name a few. When choosing a needle for your project, select the right size needle and the right needle point for the fabric you're using, and the right shaped eye for the thread you're using. One final word about needles. You don't have to be terribly fussy about them. You can use a general purpose, universal needle, which comes in assorted sizes and get by sewing almost anything. Universal needles are kind of like autofocus on your camera. You might get a good photo when you could have had a great photo. The right specialized needle will always give you the best results, but a universal needle takes less thought.